Fight fans, this contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds and a DC catchweight at 190 pounds, brought to you tonight by CLS Plasma. Looking to make some extra money, donate at CLS Plasma, make some money, and help save lives. Introducing first, fighting out of the Twin J Blue Corner. This right-hander stands 5'7", weighed in 195 pounds. Yields an amateur record, zero wins, one defeat. Representing Watchmen and fighting out of Des Moines, Iowa, Daniel Andrade. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner, is a freestyle fighter, sitting 6'4", weighed in 190 pounds. Tonight, he is making his amateur debut here. Representing Championship Fitness and fighting out of La Vista, Nebraska, Zach Weir. Zach Your referee, Big Fitz. Quite a bit of height difference between the two tonight. We'll see if uh, Zach uses that. Nate, remember what I said about you either go all in or they're a little bit away? Yeah, this is all in for debut. <laughs> Can't was, quite tell if he's on this guillotine or not. That was a oh. weird takedown. They got an arm and a leg and took him down with it. Oh, see if he hits that scissor sweep. Oh, good work from Zach. In the mount. See if Daniel uses the cage. Being stuck in mount like this is so difficult. He goes to the elbow, his corner's yelling, but man, it is loud in here. Oh, he's mixing up the mixing it up at least. Daniel, man, he's well aware of where he's at right now, so I don't think you're looking at any risk of getting the stop. So I mean, Henry, when you're stuck in this position, what's the best defense? I mean, is it give him your back? Is it buck? I mean, what do you do when you're in a full mount like that? I'm usually looking to roll if I'm up against the cage. I don't know why Daniel took a second to like look at him and get up. I mean, this dude just let me out of mount, man. I'm up. I'm out of here. <laughs> Ooh, that kick. That was a good kick. The one thing that I'm, I'm noticing about uh, I will Zach say Zach's eyes are wide open, man. He's, sta little... he's staying super compact. He's not, you know, definitely not using his length at, at all. Tell you what, that friggin' body kick is money right now. Of course, as I say, that he uses his yeah, full right. length to, to throw a body kick. So, let's see if he hits this double leg. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's the notorious guillotine. Zach looking at his corner really well. He's getting wide. This is what I wanted Eric Belvine to do. Zach just kind of staying, staring at his corner right now. Man, he just needs to he did not want to throw the here. elbow. Oh. Terrible takedown. Oh, man. On out of round number two. What's he doing? And he was, he's uh, excited. I have a feeling he's going to come I'll out tell of the second what, round. Zach's got tired. a lot of energy, man. This dude was hyped up the whole round, and he is still ready to go, man. This crowd's kind of carrying him a little bit, too. He's definitely living off it. I mean, even with all of that, I mean, if you take a look at Daniel right now, I mean, man, he's he's looking a little gassed. Breathing heavy. Man, I think he's a little defeated right now, man. He kind of got shut out there. Man, he cannot let that blunder happen where he got that takedown in the mount. So, so if so if Zach gets that adrenaline dump that we hear about all the time with these guys that go in there with a lot of adrenaline, would you expect to hear in the second round? 
Say that one more time, please. When, uh, with Zach getting that adrenaline dump and just, just gassing out real quick because of all the adrenaline, um, would you expect to see that here in the second round? Dude, I don't think Zach's drained at all. <laughs> <laughs> I expect the save from him. If I'm him, I'm looking for that body kick again, man. Look up to the top and then go to that body kick, man. He was hitting that all night. I think Danny's really having, really struggling with his height. Go up top and then bring the head kick. He's ducking down. Decent takedown if I'm Danny needs to just ride the Daniel needs to just ride this out, man. Just buy your time, get your win back. Let's get some W's in here. Let's get a couple elbows in his face. If I'm Zach, I'm going, I need a left underhook, man. Do not roll from there. Oh man, Daniel. <laughs> this might have been the end for Daniel, man. He needed that, he needed that takedown early. Man, Zach's working that that uh, that old that old dirty move of kind of keeping that pressure, keeping that hand over the face, not letting you catch your breath while you're on the ground like that. Yeah, he's really going into these elbows, man. He's tall and skinny. These are just straight bone hitting in the face. Fitz is looking close, man. I don't I don't know how much longer he's gonna. He cannot kick him in the face, though. He is still down. He's just got to pass from here. The guard's wide open. I'm going to pass him out. I don't know why he's not pass. He's got that pin, man. Pass an elbow. I just don't think Daniel's got anything for him right now. I just roll the legs over. Good work for the pass there. I'm not even really sure to say after that. I mean, Zach, I mean, I'd call that a 10-8 round. What do you think, Henry? Oh, by far. Pretty much Daniel's going to I think the doc's going to need to take a look at Daniel, make sure everything's, make sure he's clear in the head a bit. I don't know that he, that, uh, he took any real significant strikes on the ground, but he just he didn't have anything to return. Oh, man, I... Well, obviously, you're cage side. You're able to see a little bit closer than I am. Um, but, you know, I also do believe, you know, we're, you know, he's an amateur. I think that you're going to see uh, Big Fitz taking a pretty close look at this this third round, and, and you'll probably see. You know, if I'm Daniel's corner, man, I might have just called it for him. You know, he's he just hasn't shown the offensive that he needs and hasn't really put it. Zach and any. That's kind of dirty there. But, uh yeah, if he get if he doesn't get this takedown, Zach could get this guillotine. But uh, do not give your back up, though, Daniel. You got to go back. There he goes. Now he's starting to. Daniel needs to pass here. He's got a chance, and he, he whipped it. Go right to the back.
Carter yelling for him to keep coming, man. He's going to pop out the back door. Ouch. Ah, that's going to hurt. He can't get too high, though. Now's the time. Daniel needs to buck him. Ah, oh, this is it, man. Fitz needs to stop this fight, man. It's This kid's done. I'll tell you what, Zach Witt looked pretty good. Um, tell you what, he did not get tired. For the amount of strikes he threw, uh, you'd expect an amateur to get a little bit tired, man, but I don't know if he just rode the adrenaline wave or what, but uh, did a great job, kept a really good pace. So the all-new championship fitness in Omaha here. They're 2-0 and so far tonight. Yeah, well, I mean, that is all they have tonight, so they're going to go undefeated <laughs> on the night. So good for them, man. Two good debuts. I'm proud of, uh, proud of TJ, man. His group did great. And I'm assuming, uh, just based on kind of where the rumblings I've heard. Oops. The fight, one minute, 10 seconds into the third and final round, declaring your winner by TKO Zach. Quick!